everything has just shifted. Our whole universe is turned upside down. You know, normally, you know, we would be doing, you know, remodels and scheduling people. We, we have a lot of customers that are signed up. They've signed their work orders. They put their deposits in. You know, they're, they're either uh, at risk or they're elderly and, or they just want to hold off um, on having anybody come in their home. And I can't blame them. In January, we started working with the Salvation Army. He was going to reopen their retail center. He called us back and he said, okay, we're gonna scratch all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a homeless shelter and we need your help to do that. A lot of these families are families, par parents and children that are out on the streets. But it's really hard to social distance when you're sleeping under a garbage bag and everybody's huddling together to stay warm and it's raining. They already have the cots ready to be delivered and they're gonna be uh, sectioned uh, cubicles, 10 foot by 10 foot, you know, rows and rows and rows of 10 foot sectionals, privacy sectionals with cots in them. If we have 15,000 square feet of usable floor space, and that's gonna bring the number to about 1,500. This building, this conversion, this repurposing of this building is critical right now. It's amazing what we can do with some of these these buildings that are just sitting there. Think about it. I mean, these people are going to be warm at night. They're going to have they're going to have protection. They're going to get medical care if they need it. This is what we should be doing everywhere. It's let's take care of each other time. <laughs> it's like, you know, we have to do something different. You know, if we can just do this one thing which seems small in the scale of what's happening globally, but if everybody in every community could do just one thing like this, it would save lives and it would, it would make the community better.